My name is Paul Mazza. I'm a veterinarian and senior lecturer at the College of Veterinary Medicine at Cornell University. I'm Richard Ernie Daroa. Um, I am the Assistant Director for Diversity Outreach and in undergrad my major was politics. Um, hi, I'm Catherine. I am a rising sophomore in Global and Public Health Sciences. So my name is Melena and I'm a biology and society major. My name is Lindsay Hilberger. I went to uh, Penn State University for my undergraduate degree um, and I am now a third year student at Cornell College of Veterinary Medicine. So hello, uh, my name is Deborah Chapman. Um, I went to undergrad at the University of Massachusetts Amherst my first year, then I transferred to Cornell for my next three years in undergrad and currently I am a second year veterinary student at Cornell University. My high school GPA was a 4.1 and my highest SAT score was a 1220 and ACT, I think my highest was like a 26. I had what you can say average GPA and standardized scores. Um, I did my ACTs instead of SATs, so I believe they're average. A lot of A's, a few B's, uh, like one or two C's. For the SATs, I was around 1700, which is really low for entering Cornell. Is this the right fit for you? Um, what I mean by that is Cornell isn't for everyone. Not every school is for everyone. And so every every school or every uh, program that you look into should have something that is attached to you as a person and not just as a student. You wanna make sure that that's the place you wanna be for four years. I had a lot of different animal experiences. I had, I worked at a zoo, I worked with aqu aquatic animals, I worked with uh, cows. I was even like certified for artificial insemination, which is really weird. Not many people are. I know it's weird. Um, <laughs> but I also worked a lot with human medicine as well. Uh, I was an EMT leaving high school. It's important for us to see that students can take a high uh, course load with a lot of difficult courses all at once. I did like what I loved, not some, not like, you know, something because I thought, oh, like this will look good on my college application. Like, I guess for example, like I was an assistant editor for my school's newspaper, but like I didn't do like the newspaper, oh, because like this will look good for college. Like I loved writing for it. Another thing we like to see is a well-rounded student. So we like to see students that take uh, other classes that shows their well-roundedness, business, law, drama, poetry, English, uh, etc. It's kind of hard to know what makes you stand out, but I just believe like being international, doing the IB, and, like all the activities that I did was kind of good. We also like to see students that uh, have a, um, a variety of activities in the community. The faculty at Cornell are probably my favorite part. They're very, they're very engaging. They love what they do. Um, they try, they really try their best to make sure that you understand concepts and they're always there to meet you and go over something extra. Um, and so yeah, I think the faculty really goes above and beyond for the students. The cafeteria is my least favorite part of Cornell. My favorite aspect of Cornell is working with all the very bright and energetic and enthusiastic students. I also like working with very um, uh, innovative and knowledgeable uh, colleagues. Okay, I guess my favorite thing is um, the range of options and like classes that I could take. Like the, also like the majors. Like bio and society is not like a major you're gonna find in those schools. So I'm really glad that Cornell has it. And also like the wide range of like classes. Like anything that you want to learn, like you'll find it at Cornell. I guess like that's the any person, any study motto. I don't want to say like the cutthroatness or the competition, but sometimes like it's really easy here to feel like you're in competition with like your peers. Walking around here, you can see how beautiful it is. There's just, there's a lot of things to do if you like nature, if you like that sort of thing. So that's also good. You're know, with your friends and you experience the same things as any person who lives in Ithaca, so that's really good. Plus, it's very beautiful here. It's the fall, the gorges and falls that you can go to visit, and like, it's really pretty. I don't have anything that 
I don't like about going out, maybe the fact that it's kind of hard. Like I remember to a certain point where I had to look up stuff that they were talking about in their application because I was learning stuff about Cornell through their application. And that to me was just a testament to how well they did the research. And um, that's something that stood out to me because of the fact that I had to like actually go out of my way to learn more to be like, is this right? Is this like, wow, this person really dove in. Um, and so that that's something that stood out to me. People tend to assume that college is a professional degree. And so I see a lot of folks that would talk about professional careers that they would have and not necessarily the majors that they're about to get themselves into. Um, and then the other thing is folks really should get an idea of what college is. Um, a lot of folks just kind of go through life just expecting college like it's just another step in life. A lot of people here were very competitive and um, which is not a bad thing but a lot of these kids who were competitive also had that spirit of I'm better than you and so I didn't experience that at UMass much at all so it was very difficult to integrate myself with that because that's not the type of person that I am. I'm more of like hey everyone let's, let's get together let's be friends and then academically the the it was that difference went from here to here you know Cornell like really pushed pushed my boundaries and what I thought I can learn and how much I had to study and how much time I had to dedicate to, to learning the material so I'm from like Eastern Africa where it's so hot so coming to Cornell where it's like freezing cold six months of the year it was kind of hard to get adjusted to if that's part of who you are it's, that's really the goal is for you to be honest Right? It's not to say we don't prefer, there's no set of preference orders. It's really more about is this person putting forth all of who they are? And you're, you're playing for keeps at this point. And so you want to make sure that you're putting forth every, put everything on the table. Especially if you know if this thing takes up a good deal of your time, you might be a scientist in the classroom and a trumpet player in the orchestra right after. If that time that it takes to be a trumpet player or an athlete, if all these things are taking up most of your time, you should probably put that because the goal is for us not just to understand who you are as a student in the classroom, but particularly with the involvements list to assess your passions outside of the classroom. You know, there's something for everyone here. Um, there's a lot of ways to get involved, be it you know sports, intramural sports, um, certain clubs. I believe the most common thing about every other Cornell I am, in terms of social life is like the organizations. So that's very social, like I'm in, um, uh, it's called Cornell Concert Committee, so we like bring in people to do concerts like homecoming games and like slop day and like dragon day and all that. There's a group of people for everybody. So like, you know, if you want to join a frat or sorority, there's that. If you're not into that, like you'll find other people. And like, whichever kind of people you click with most, like you'll find them at Cornell. The school's so big that like, there's so many different groups of people. Um, and what I have also found here is that like, people are so much more like accepting and open to. Like high school tends to be like very clicky with like specific friend groups, but like at Cornell, like people are like, you know, willing to um, talk to new people, make new friends. So social life is really what you make of it. So there are a lot of fraternities, sororities, that Greek life dominates Cornell undergrad wise. And even if you're the type of person, because I was, that came in like, oh, I'm never joining a frat, I'm never joining a sorority. They find a way to get you anyways, because a lot of the clubs are professional sororities or fraternities. So the frat, how the frat and sorority, sorority system in Cornell is really good, and I believe it's safe. Um, and most of them are geared towards one specific goal. So that's good. As a freshman, orientation week, like that's the best time to make new friends because like everybody is in the same situation. Once you're in, um, the possibilities are endless, right? You can always switch. You can always rotate. But I wouldn't go in there. Again, I would not be applying to something where uh, if I know I have not done well in that area traditionally uh, or just generally in the past, there's no need to try to play a guessing game now. Not in a space where you can literally choose what you want. Why do you need to guess? 
you know, if that's what you want to do, go ahead and do it. And you don't need to guess because everything that you've been doing, if you took a moment and tracked all the things that you've done, listed them all out, you know where you want to go. Um, it's a whole different ballgame from high school. And the adjustment was really, really hard. Like, you know, I have to change around, like, my study habits a lot. Because, like, in high school, I could, like, get away with, like, studying for the test, like, the night before and still get an A. But, like, that doesn't fly at Cornell. Like, I had to really develop good study habits. So, like, studying in advance, you know, not doing things at the last minute, and, like, studying actively. I would say high school... Coming into Cornell undergrad, I would say to prepare yourself by taking as many AP classes as you can. Um, so AP classes and whichever classes demand the most academically because your transition from high school to a place like Cornell is going to take some time and it's going to be a little rough, especially because with the weed out classes you have um, chemistry, you have biology, um, you have domestic um, domestic animal biology, which is super tough. So it's a lot, it's a lot, but it can be done. Yeah, there are three state schools. Cornell's are both the public and private school. Um, and so, New York, obviously, state being in the state plays, so I guess in, in a favor, but Cornell is also in a space where they're, they're in a fortunate position to um, be able to provide a good deal of um, financial aid, right, last year. Um, I think it was like 260 million in financial aid, and obviously it ended up going to one person. And so, with with while there are some, you know, your, your state tuition goes down lower just because they're state schools, automatically, regardless, you're still going to get for the most part a good financial aid. Most of the students that I've come across here, typically, what I would hear is they gave me good aid. So, you know, that's why I'm here. You can't knock a student for making a decision like that. So as a high schooler, I think it's important to um, keep a mind on your goal, if your goal is veterinary medicine, but try as many things as you can. A journal club or drama club or uh, playing sports uh, all shows a dedication to an activity uh, in addition to having to succeed at your school. So a variety of, of activities um, can be important. And also, you know, part-time job, Etc. shows time management and also ability to do with stress. Um, having said that though, it's very important to uh, make sure that you are having fun doing it. Don't be too stressed about like academics and all. I know academics are the most important thing about in Cornell, but then just experience the social life, you know. Join random organizations or go out with your friends to college town, have some food on Friday nights or something. Don't study that much. It's kind of hard to say that because GPAs are really important for now, but then I believe if you want to be a good student, you have to also have time for yourself. So take time for yourself, enjoy everything that Cornell offers. Keep your options open. Um, and what I mean by that is take classes that you normally would not take. Um, because undergrad is a really good time to expand yourself as a person and to try new things because in high school it's pretty much you have a set number of classes you know what you have to do for undergrad it's whatever you feel I guess like my biggest piece of advice would be to go with the flow and don't like stress yourself out too much like coming to Cornell like it could be a really really stressful like experience at first since like the academics are really hard like you're in a new, like, big place, but, like, everything falls into place eventually, so, like, I wouldn't stress about it. Everything's gonna turn out to be fine in the end. Uh, if I had one thing to say to high school students, it would be, um, don't rush this life. Um, you only get one chance at it, and, um, you need to be able to trust the process. There's no need for you to grow faster or try to reach a certain age faster than where you already are. Pace yourself. Um, this life can be beautiful if you take the time to see its beauty. So it's really just important that um, as capable as you are, as uh, amazing as, as some of these folks that I've come across are, my biggest concern is that they run through life as opposed to being able to walk and enjoy the Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> <laughs>